Over the last two months, I had an opportunity to study with Ella this portion of Bo. And so, no spoiler alerts, I won't give away anything that she has written about or thought about, but actually she came up with so many ideas that I just got to borrow one of the ones she didn't use to tell you about. For anyone who knows Ella, you know that she is extremely passionate, like I said before, about making sure that every voice is heard. And that if, there's, if you see something wrong in the world, you speak up and you do something about it. And so I couldn't help but when studying this Parsha bow of reading the first few lines of they call chapter 11 in a different light. You see, it says that the Egyptians had a different viewpoint on Moses than Pharaoh did. And I never thought about that before. Generally, when you think about the plagues, you think the Israelite God was sending these plagues so the Egyptians would let the Israelites go. But in fact, when we read it more carefully, it's about Pharaoh letting the Israelites go. In fact, in that chapter 11, it says the Egyptians had held Moses in a high esteem. They had spent so many years knowing Moses through the house of Pharaoh that they trusted his words, they knew him as a good person, and they, in fact, felt for the Israelites in their situation. It dawned on me. I think we've got the same issue going around the whole world right now. We have all kinds of leaders in different countries who might say things that their constituents don't also agree with. And all too often, and you can think whatever name you want right now, I'm not putting a name out there into this speech, but whatever country you can think of with a charismatic, vibrant, loud leader, there are people who don't agree with them. And we don't necessarily do a good enough job of listening for the voices that don't have the microphone of listening to those who aren't speaking the most, but are maybe taking action and doing good and pushing back. And so you will see through Ella's speech this idea of how easy it can be to push back and to make statements and make sure that every voice is heard and that not only the leader defines a population, but that each and every person has the right to stand for who they are and to make that statement known. So as we read Parsha Bo, keep in mind this idea that there is more than one voice to the narrative. And as I said before, get excited for a beautiful piece of Torah that Ella will share with us this morning. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Yashukah.